Has this ever happened to you? Oh, hey, how's it going? Hey, man. Do you do you have a pen? Pen? Uh, yeah. Here you go. Well, not anymore. Oh, hey. Hey, uh, Pen. Yeah. Here you go. Thanks. Hi, my name is Ted with Legacy Brown Leather. Got my coffee? Let's get started. So in this video, I'm gonna be crafting an EDC pocket organizer. This came out of necessity since I wanted to have all my things in one organized place and not have them just jumbled in my pockets. I've been meaning to try something like this for a while, so let's get into it. Okay, we're first gonna start out by rolling out our leather. Today I'm using some Wicket & Craig medium brown harness leather, three to four ounces thick. Then I place my template onto the leather and start cutting it out with some shears. Then I just trace the pattern with the scratch all. And cut out that pattern with the straight edge and a knife. Here I'm just using a corner punch to round some of those corners. Then I'm using a fine edge beveler to get rid of some of those sharp edges. And now I'm dyeing those edges with some brown edge dye. Once those edges are dry, I'm going to burnish those edges with some tokenol clear edge dressing and my Coco Bola wood attachment on my rotary Dremel tool. I want to put my logo somewhere on this thing, but uh, it doesn't really fit on the front too well, so I'm going to put it on the back. Now it's just a matter of using some EcoWeld water-based adhesive to glue this thing together. Once the glue becomes a bit tacky, I'm going to put it in place. I always recommend just hammering your glue so it just adheres better. Once that glue is dried, I'm going to use my corner punch again to round the other corners. Now I'm just sanding the edges before I use a fine edge beveler again. Then with my wing divider, I'm going to be putting my 1 8 stitching distance. And using my scratch all on the straight edge for the other stitching lines. Here I'm using my KS Blade Punch pricking irons to hammer out the holes for my stitching. And now I'm just going to stitch this up with some Venomo MBT number no. 5 brown thread. Then just finish off the thread with the lighter so they don't pull through. I recommend hammering your stitches, they just tend to look better. And here I'm doing some of the more final sanding before I'm going to bevel once more and then dye the edges. And again, here's the tokenol and some canvas that I'm going to use to burnish the edges. And then sand and repeat the process with the tokenol and canvas to your heart's content.
Then use a bone folder to relax some of those corners. I did this off camera. I trimmed it by half of an inch. So I didn't like the distance between this and the uh, top here. And that's pretty much it. But let's check out some B-roll. Thanks so much for watching this video. Didn't turn out too bad. I'm gonna make some more revisions to it before I wanna upload it on my site. I would like to hear from you though. What kind of things do you wanna see in an EDC pocket organizer like this? In the next version, I wanna make the pocket for the knife a little bit slimmer. And also I'm thinking about incorporating a notebook in the back so you have your pen and your notebook ready to go. So let me know what kind of things that you look for in a pocket organizer and that might make it into the final version that I do. I'm on Instagram at Legacy Brand Leather. Go ahead and give me a follow there. I post product photos, process photos, and general rugged vibes. If you want to support my channel, head to patreon.com forward slash Legacy Brand Leather, where you can unlock member only benefits. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up below and please subscribe. That shows me that you want to see more videos and more content like this. Other than that, I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe out there.